Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Grosvenor House on a beautiful summer's day here in London. We're celebrating the O2 Nordoff Robin Silver Clef Awards 40th anniversary. That is 40 years of music therapy. And the creme de la creme are here, all the artists are here. We're going to meet the winners. Let's go and say hello. This is more than just yeah. an awards show. I think it's really, it really means a lot because of Nordoff Robbins and the work they do with you know music care, and that definitely adds a, a big level to it. I just won Best Female Award. I'm very lucky, you know, and I'm really proud of what we achieve as females and what we achieve and what music does for people. And you know, it's it's an honor to be a part of it. By being here, you're all ensuring that their work will continue for another 40 years and hopefully beyond. So what's your role now? I've been made an ambassador this year. Um, very, very humbled that Nordoff Robin have chosen me as an ambassador. Um, I was working with the music therapy centers earlier on in the year with the kids and I saw some miracles happen, Pete. And, you know, that's what music does. And that's why us as musicians, you know, coming together from all over the world for this particular event to continue to support a charity that its foundation is in musicianship, helping less fortunate people is so important and so profound. Music has been uh, sometimes a, an important presence in my life, sometimes very much in the background. And yet the inspirational and therapeutic aspect of music has always been important to me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Royal Albert Hall Best Group Award is Kasabian. I just want to say I'm very humble and very privileged for this award. Music has healing powers, mystical healing powers. And for 40 years, this charity has been working on that basis. And it's quite incredible. It's an unbelievable thing they've created. What award have you won? Best Newcomer. Um, it's an honour. One of the first gigs I ever did, before all of this, that really felt particularly important was for, was for Nordoff Robbins. It was in Edinburgh Nordoff Robbins, and, and that's when I first found out what it was all about. Uh, Jake, what's the award you've won, mate? Uh, I think it's, yeah, Best Male, yeah. And I, it's, it's great because it's for a good cause, and it's... Um, I don't, I'm not really bothered about awards, but you know, when it actually means something, it's, it's great. There's a lot of reasons that Duran Duran are one of the biggest bands of all time. James Brown invented funk, George Clinton made it an art form, Nile Rodgers brought it into the disco era, but they merged it with pop. They were the first ones to do that. The winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award is Duran Duran! Nordoff Robbins do really great work and they have been doing that for a long, long time. I've been to these uh, events before. We've never been the recipient of, of an award. But it's, um, it's great this far in to still be getting something. Yes, absolutely. Amazing. This is an astonishing lot. Framed gold disc of the Joshua Tree. Then the Edge comes up with a signed Gibson Les Paul rising guitar. So start me at 5,000 pounds, 8,000. 11, 12, 35 now, 60. Sold 30 you for 75,000. So Tom, lovely to see you again. Thank you, nice to see you too. What makes Nordoff Robin so special? Um, well, for me, it's, it's a great organization and um, they, they do something that I know something about. It's about music and it's about getting to young people getting through with something that other things can't, can't do. You know, the music gets through to people, you know, and, and, uh, and I've seen it firsthand. I've seen these kids light up when, when music is getting through to them. And, and I'd like to be a part of that. I want you now to have a chance to listen to somebody where our music therapy has made a difference to a family. Tina's going to talk about her son, but, but also the impact of music therapy on them as a family. So, please welcome to the stage, Tina Fallis. <laughs> Romano is 11 years old. When he was 18 months old, he still wasn't walking or crawling and could barely sit up. It broke my heart to see that he was so different 
and to see how much he was struggling. This was my little boy. I wanted to protect him and look after him and make everything okay. When he was two, Romano was diagnosed with autism, global developmental delay and dyspraxia, and things were pretty tough. When he was five, he still wasn't speaking, but I noticed that when music was on the telly, he would sing along and start to form words in his own way. When Romano was six, I found Nordoff Robbins. When Romano started at Nordoff Robbins, he was still in nappies and nonverbal. Since then, Romano has had music therapy in groups, in pairs, and more recently with Fraser, his therapist, in one-to-one -one sessions, and the impact is beyond anything I could have ever hoped for. My boy has trouble speaking, but as you will see, he can sing. but he would like to join his mum on stage and it's a very brave thing he's doing. Romano, up you come, my darling. Do you want to wave at everybody? I know you wanted a wave. Can everyone wave back to Romano? That's what he wanted. And that way, look over there as well. They're all waving at you, Romano. He wants to bow as well. Romano, bow. There we are. There are moments in my life when I uh, get to do the things I've done over nearly 30 years in this business that just stick with me. And I think seeing all of you waving back at Romano will be a moment I will cherish forever. So thank you for doing that. That was amazing. So I'm very pleased and honored to present international award to the one and only, the most soulful singer that I know, Miss Gladys Knight. This has to be the ultimate honor. Yes. You have won so many awards, incredible achievements. You've won this tonight. What does it mean for you? You know what I love about this award? It's not just for me. It's a representation for the people in the music industry, especially women. And I am just so honored to be holding it for everybody, you know, and it's, it's, just, it's just such an honor and I never expected it, you know. So I'm, I'm just overjoyed and I'm elated that I got a chance to represent an industry that can change the world. Now we come to our main award of the day, the Silver Clef Award. Ladies and gentlemen, it's both a huge honor and a very great privilege to present this award to the incomparable Iron Maiden. Uh, I would particularly like to thank Mark and Claire for agreeing to come and give the award tonight. It's not often that Richard III and Thomas Cromwell come on stage. Very impressed. It's great to be able to be associated with a, such a, a great charity that does fantastic work. We actually saw it in action and I've seen it myself and it, it does work and uh, it's great to see, so it's worthwhile. So thanks, Nordoff Robbins, thanks. What the charity achieves and what it does has, has, has grown and its role has expanded. So I think now that it's, it's more important than ever. It's great to support it. Um, it's great award to get for us because it's an audience of our peers. You know, yeah, it's been around for 40 years and we've been around for nearly that long. <laughs> Nordoff Robbins, happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th to Nordoff Robbins, thank you so much and have an amazing, have amazing years to come. Hi, we're Duran Duran and we'd like to wish 
Nordoff Robbins, happy 40th birthday. Nordoff Robbins, happy 40th. Well, now that was an incredible day and congratulations to all the well-deserved winners. Please join us next year at the fantastic O2 Nordoff Robbins Silver Clef Awards. Adios.